So this is just from a wedding that I did the other day. And I haven't been, I've been kind of here and there doing random things, but I haven't been getting um, like consistently out shooting. So this just happened to be the most recent thing I did. So that's a great shot. I love the way the, the guests frame the... Uh, oh, that is lovely. The challenge with um, with portraits in general and, and weddings are worse because they're such a dynamic event. Mm -hmm. it's, at the end of the day, you know, 80% of the photo is the subject and how they react to the camera if, if they know it's going on. Somebody who's not comfortable being photographed, you're not going to get that kind of result from. So here's a kind of a selfie before I call these selfies. Um, and uh, from 1968, maybe, uh, scanned in off a 35mm. And it's just a quality of scanning in off of. It blew my mind. I, was, I forgot how, how, how nice it was. Although I, most of these were probably with my Leica, so decent, decent quality. You know who that is? A uh, former faculty member, a uh, member of our gallery who is, that's Alma Davenport. Oh, no kidding. When, when Alma and I were at RISD together. So here is this farm that we, we were, I don't know the best way to put them and show these people, of these, all these old buildings and so I wanted to have a couple, and in this is, you know, how much are you documenting the farm? How much are you kind of going into the people there? And how much is the past and how much is the present? So we don't know yet what, um, what's happening with that. And technically, a lot of this, I've been experimenting a lot with, um, since these started out as black and white, some have been playing with the new feature in Photoshop of uh, auto uh, yeah, colorization. Like color. Yeah. It's been a blast because people I haven't seen in 50 years. 